today I'm doing a different kind of video. I'm going to be doing an Instagram baddie inspired makeup tutorial because I know we all love the gram. I'm obsessed with Instagram and I follow so many accounts of girls that are baddies. Basically girls that just slay everything. Their makeup, their hair, their outfits on the daily on Instagram. So this tutorial is inspired by them. So we have a very matte overdrawn lip with some matte eyes very Instagram-esque brows, and some super strong contour and bold highlights. So I actually really like the way this tutorial ended up coming out. I'm just doing the absolute most today, but I do like this makeup look. Hopefully you guys do as well. So if you guys are interested in seeing my Instagram baddie-inspired makeup tutorial, then just give this video a thumbs up and keep on watching. So jumping right in, we're going to start with the brows. I'm going to go in with the L'Oreal Brow Stylus Definers. I'm using two different colors to do this. So the first color I'm going in with is Brunette, and I'm using this to outline my brow and really darken up that tail part. But then once we get towards the center of the brow, I go in with Blonde to really give me that like Instagram brow, very gradient brow effect to my eyebrows. Then hopping in with the Morphe 35N palette and this neutral transition shade, I'm just going to buff this into my crease using a Mojo Beauty blending brush using windshield wiper motions. Then I'm going to deepen that up a bit with this warm tone blending color. I don't want it to be too smoky, but I did want to have a decently deep crease. And I'm going to leave the rest of the eye kind of plain, but I'm using all matte colors. This palette is completely matte, so I do really like that. And then I am going to go in with a cool toned brown transition shade just to deepen it up a little bit more, keeping the eyes very neutral like I said. So just blending that back and forth with a Mojo Beauty blending brush. I'll have everything linked down below for you guys so you guys can check that out if you are interested in the description box but I didn't want the eyes to be too smoky then to brighten up the inner corner I'm going in with this light highlight color and just popping this into my tear ducts inner corner of my eyes just to really make that part of my eye pop and then all over the lid I'm also just going in with this light matte color all over the lid just so I do have some type of shadow there but I didn't want anything too overpowering because we're really gonna do some bold lashes and some bold liners so for the eyeshadow I just wanted to keep it very neutral now for my wing I'm going in with this perversion waterproof liner from urban decay and I'm doing a very Instagram esque wing very bold very long and very thick this perversion liner is literally amazing it does not budge and it's so pigmented I do highly recommend it to you guys then for lashes, I'm going in with these ones from Violet Voss. I thought they were so beautiful and so dramatic. I'll put the exact name to them in the description box because I don't remember offhand, but loved how fluttery they were. Jumping into the face, we're going to prime the skin with this Radiance Activator from the Estee Edit and the Makeup Step 1 Skin Equalizer in Smoothing. For my foundation, I'm going to be using the Josie Marin Vibrancy Foundation. I absolutely love this foundation. You guys can watch my full foundation routine down below if you're interested. I'll link it in the description box, but just applying that with a beauty blender. For my concealer, I'm first going to go in with the Urban Decay Naked Skin Color Corrector. This one is in the peach shade just to conceal my under eye circles. I have been obsessed with this product recently. It literally just like erases all of your dark circles. It is so bomb. So just blending that out with a dampened beauty blender as per usual. And then I'm going to go over that with my regular concealer. This is the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer in the shade Custard just to conceal it and make it match the rest of my face. Today we're going to switch it up and cream contour. I'm using the 9FW palette from Morphe and this kind of neutral bronzy shade to contour out my cheekbones. So I feel like everyone on Instagram does that and then they go and they clean it up with translucent powder. So that's exactly what I'm doing here for you guys. I don't normally contour this way, but I figured I would try it out for the purpose of this video. Then jumping into the Jaclyn Hill Becca face palette and that really pretty blush color and just applying that to my cheeks. And then we are going to glow to the gods, you guys. I'm using Prosecco Pop from that same palette. How pretty is that? Like literally, you could see that glow from like Mars, I think. I love Prosecco Pop. It's so beautiful. So just dowsing myself in that. Then to finish up the eyes, I'm going in with that warm toned neutral color and just lining my lower lash line and smoking it out a bit so we do have something down there. And then just lining my waterline with this liner from L'Oreal in black. 
Then for mascara, I'm going in with the Edgiest Up and Out Mascara from the Estee Edit. You guys know this is my fave, so just popping that on my lashes. For my lips, I'm first going to line them. I'm going to line them with this lip liner from NYX. This is in the shade Nude. I wanted to do a matte nude lip for this. So I'm going in with this new liquid lipstick from Violet Voss in the shade Breezy. This does dry to a matte and it is so pretty, but I thought it was a little bit too pinky undertone. So then I went over it with the matte liquid lipstick from Ofra in the shade Dubai just to make it a little bit more of a nude color because I feel like that's what everyone wears on Insta. So yeah, this is me doing the absolute most in the final look. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And I'll see you guys very soon in my next video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Love you. Bye.